What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I wanna to talk on a huge opportunity for SoFi Invest and what that might mean for SoFi if they ever do go down this route. In addition to that, member growth. A lot of people are gonna be starting to talk on upcoming Q4 earnings and I wanna give you a good breakdown of what the member growth might represent. So I'm gonna go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciated. With that, let's get right to it. On a side note, depending on when you guys are watching this, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever floats your boat out there. I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully you guys are having a very enjoyable time, whatever you might or might not be doing. So once again, thanks for watching. So with that though, let's get right to it. So when it comes down to member growth, and there's been always a very good correlation between the actual web traffic on SoFi's website and member growth, like I said. So with it being close to the tail end of the year, a lot of people are gonna be starting to talk on upcoming Q4 earnings, which most likely will come at the beginning of February. But as you can see right here, this is comparing October to November. And just based on the mobile app, it went up 111% or 112%. So that is massive. Even in general, comparing desktop and mobile a total of 20% of an increase so like I said looking back there's always been a fairly strong correlation between the actual web traffic and members going up so once again take that how you see that I'm not a financial advisor or anything but again this might be a very positive sign because if member growth does continue to go up at the same percentage even if it is up 20% hypothetically and keep in mind this is only October to November even if it is only 20% member growth going up is a very positive thing i think we already know that that's the variable of the actual fundamental business because if members grow up products go up deposits go up revenue goes up every aspect of sofi's business goes up if consumers continue to increase if members go up so once again i think this is a very positive sign and this is why sofi has really been prioritizing and taking advantage of the broader market and the conditions by offering higher APYs, incentivizing customers to come over, so member growth going up. So I think, like I said, we should have another upcoming very good earnings, most likely in February, give or take. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But when it comes down to it, I am on Twitter right now, and keeping in line with Twitter, there's a very big opportunity for SoFi to kind of move on that. And like I said in the past, Anthony Noto has really reached out to Elon just to hypothetically talk on that blue little check mark so once again that cost eight dollars that's what Elon was really pushing for a while so Anthony was very smart and tried to take advantage of that scenario by saying well we'll be able to reimburse that eight dollars if you just obviously come over to SoFi and various things so that was very very smart on Anthony's point of view but there's one big opportunity for Anthony and SoFi to take advantage. And so for those of you that are on Twitter, you would know that now they have a feature that you can actually see a chart if you actually type in the ticker that you want. But keep in mind, as right here, you do see view on Robinhood. Imagine if that does say view on SoFi. So again, here lies a massive opportunity for SoFi. And I do believe Elon just recently came out saying every single second, I think there's 25,000 or somewhere around there tweets. So I think there's a massive opportunity and I personally feel a lot of individuals are starting to look to Twitter for financial kind of situations or just news in general. So I think this is a very positive thing. And imagine, like I said, if this does say view on SoFi, that should increase SoFi's kind of reach when it uh, comes down to SoFi Invest. So here lies a massive opportunity for SoFi. And I think given the price of SoFi behind the scenes, if more members continue to go up, whether it be based on this actual web traffic or if they ever do take advantage and kind of try and knock down Robinhood potentially, I think that is going to be a very very, very massive thing and will help them gain a profitability faster than what they anticipated and that will ultimately help the share price so when it comes down to what happened on Friday just doing a little bit more technical analysis we did get over that central boiling event and that typically does have a lot of resistance so once again that's a very very positive sign stochastic is at 51 so it is getting up there a little bit not technically oversold not overbought is kind of in the middle momentum number retail investors are for the most part getting back into SoFi. So I think people have been taking advantage of these discounted prices. And I personally feel given the circumstances, this is a massive undervalued stock. And if SoFi does have amazing Q4 earnings, 
I think this is going to be five back-to-back -back or four back-to-back -back, uh, massive home rent earnings that a lot of people cannot ignore when it comes down to SoFi. Of course, though, I have been saying that for quite some time because I think some discrepancies with SoFi behind the scenes, it just makes people scratch their head because SoFi has amazing earnings, but yet their price on the actual stock has just been going down and down. So it's very hard to really justify why it's been going down as much as it has. And not only that though, institutions. So typically when there is a very big value stock out there that's well below its intrinsic value, you typically do see a very big rush of institutions getting into that stock, not necessarily with SoFi. So like I said, I don't know if just institutions behind the scenes really want SoFi to fail or they do see a lot more downside behind it. But once again, Anthony buying as much as he has just in the short term definitely speaks volumes and shows that we in his opinion at least are at a substantial discount so with all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe keep in mind SoFi stock is a very good gift for anyone whether it be for Christmas Hanukkah or New Year's or birthdays whatever it is SoFi is a very good gift like I said but I'm just going to give you a quick update on shorts because things have been really happening behind the scenes more specifically this past week short score is currently 73 utilization is 100% and based on Friday they increased 49,000 shares so like I said I think a lot of people took the Friday off the trading activity and the volume was a little bit more lower on that regard so I think in general they were fairly flat but it has been starting to pick up because keep in mind roughly about four months ago it was at around 25 percent as of i believe last week it was at 10 percent so it is starting to get back in there's 105.68 million shares that is currently being shorted short interest is 13.46 so like i said it is starting to go up a little bit so that might be something just to watch for in the grand scheme of things but with all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe always greatly appreciated if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.